Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Uh, last time uh, we left off, I was mudding um, the first layer for the room. So in this video here, I've already mud um, three layers. So this is the final set. It is now dry. So now we're going to show you sanding and painting. Um, well, sanding is my favorite thing to do uh, so far in renovation. Um, it's relatively easy, it is tedious, but it's not hard work, I would say, because as long as you're mudding correctly, um, you won't have actually a lot to sand. And uh, it actually can be like relaxing sometimes. But yeah, so this is our three layers of mud all dried up and just ready to sand and paint. So with sanding, I'm using this tool here as you, or if you remember in the first room, I used the pad um, the circular pad that I used to um, actually sand the cabinets. Uh, this time I'm actually using um, a tool that's actually made for sanding. So these pads um, you buy separately with the tool, the red tool here that you see. Um, and it was actually a lot better than the pad that I was using before uh, since it was actually made for sanding uh, which I should have done the first time but as you guys would know this is a whole learning experience for me so um, but the results are great so everything I, I take and I do I'm just taking it all in and learning from my mistakes and then doing it right the next time or with every room so in this video, you guys are just seeing me sand, um, and then you actually see me feel it, uh, feel the wall as well. So when you're sanding, you always got to feel the wall. Don't just sand blindly and just keep moving on. You do want to make sure that your wall is smooth, it's seamless, because you're going to see those mistakes when you're painting, um, and that's when you can't, you're going to regret that you didn't take the time to actually sand it correctly and that uh, you didn't take the time to make sure it was smooth. So those are just my pointers for uh, sanding. Just take your time, fill it out, make sure you're doing it correctly. Um, here I'm slowing it down for you guys a little bit because I, I wanted you to see how I did the corners. Um, that's why I like this pad as well is because it's square and it was a lot easier for me to sand in these corners because you're actually touching the corners um, compared to that circular pad that I used before. Um, as you can see too in this video you'll see like dust and stuff like that. Um, if you remember in the master bedroom we actually did like a whole filter system um, unfortunately this day I was just ready to sand and my husband wasn't home uh, so I just took it upon myself to just start sanding uh, without him doing that whole system uh, for me uh, and making sure that the air quality was good um, so that was one of the one thing that I did regret um, while I was sanding was uh, oh, I can just sand and it'll be fine. I won't need that whole fil filtration system he was doing last time. Uh, but I really did. Um, I had to use my mask and at times use my goggles because it was so dusty in there. And I also made the mistake of not taping up 
some sort of plastic uh, for the doorway because it actually the, all that dust actually traveled into the foyer and traveled into the master bedroom which was next door so you could actually see like dust on the floor and dust uh, on the dresser that we had in the master bedroom so yes if that's my one tip of what you shouldn't do is don't start sanding without a good filtration system a fan system and don't forget to tape up the plastic for that door uh, as you can see right there on the left uh, I should have taped up some kind of plastic up there so that it wouldn't travel to the next room but I really wasn't thinking about that at all I just wanted to hurry up and you know get sanding done since I had time to do it that day um, but yeah that's my tip of what not to do when sanding all right and then in this frame you can see I'm starting to paint um, the paint that I used was the same paint I used for the master bedroom if you're looking here you could probably see it it's definitely all in the lighting in the room because you could see here it's like gray a light gray which is what I wanted but in the master bedroom it turned white um, and that's just really due to the lighting whenever the sunlight hit it it looked totally white but when it was darker it was gray so <clears throat> I really wish that the color would have stayed this way, but we we actually thought maybe we should buy new paint. Um, however, we had so much left and we're trying to save money. So um, I'm like, okay, we're just gonna go with the same color. That's fine. We can always change it up later in the future, you know. Uh, I do wanna note a little thing. Um, I was gonna do that in, an in another video to point out that um, that plug that you see there at the top um, the outlet sorry not the plug the outlet we had thought about putting the TV here on this wall so we came up with this great idea to put the outlet high so that the plug um, the wire wouldn't show um, however that did not work out and that outlet is just really for no reason um, now and the reason is because we can't do it we actually can't put a TV there because we're gonna put a sliding door there and I just realized that after I had finished painting I was like how are we gonna slide the door to the right if that outlet is there and the TV is there so it was kind of those light bulb moments where you know you just messed up but uh anyway we decided to keep the outlet i mean we could have you know try to drywall it again and then paint it again and all of this stuff but we just said you know what it's not a big deal we'll leave the outlet up there never know um maybe in the future we'll put a regular door in and not a sliding door but we'll see I have to tell you guys too, if you remember the paint that I used, um, the product, it was like Glinden, um, I think that's how you pronounce it. It is the cheaper paint, and to be honest, um, it looks great, however, I have to say, uh, you're, it nicks very easily. If you accidentally bump into the wall with anything, a chair, a table, whatever it is, if you bump into the wall, you're going to have all these marks on it, um, black marks or gray marks or whatever, dents. And uh, <clears throat> that was something that we weren't happy and prepared for because that ended up with us retouching the paint in the master bedroom a lot. Uh, just to let you guys know um, I kind of wish we did go with the better paint 
and I think um, when we do the mass I mean not the mass when we do the living room and kitchen that's what I'm going to focus on I want to thank you guys for watching see you next time mm -hmm.